Hello friends, in this series of videos in theory of computation, uh, right now we are doing designing of DFAs and the previous video we have you know discussed that is uh, how many DFAs or combinations were there which were accepting universal language. Now in this video let's try the reverse logic and see out of total those 64 cases how many are accepting universe oh, sorry how many are accepting empty language or uh, empty set. okay friends now let's try this question but before we do so uh, let me first uh, again revise uh, that logic that uh, in the starting videos we have discussed that a language is nothing but a set of strings and if a language is a set then a set could also be what empty set empty means what which actually contains no strings at all huh so here the question is again same out of total those 64 cases how many dfas will be there which will accept empty language means what actually they accept nothing because empty set or empty language do not contain any string okay now you understand this thing there are two kind of states we have final states and non-final states huh so if we want that nothing should be accepted then non-final states will be our friend yes or no yes and the final state will be our enemy one more thing you understood some of the students might be thinking that why the hell you want to design a dfa which don't accept anything actually that is not the case certainly we don't want to do so but mathematically they are also a valid case because if a language is empty then it is also what regular language language and if a language is regular then there must exist a dfa to accept it uh, to accept a uh, empty language means what you don't accept any string possible so uh, you understood this thing that empty uh, designing a machine which don't accept anything sometimes it is usable either for theoretical concerns or for complementation okay now you see out of those cases again we have we know already that all these cases have how many combinations 16 16 combinations so i want that nothing is to be accepted and what are the favorable states which are non-final nature you see in the very first case both the states are non-final so no matter what you know transition you take nothing is going to be accepted for sure because both the states are what non-final so let me say all it's very easy now all the 16 dfas will have what empty language because no state is final huh now you see as the case one was very easy to be taken now it is very easy to be rejected huh i hope you are understanding why because you see both the states are of what final nature if both the states are final no matter what transitions you said everything is going to be accepted and we want that nothing is to be accepted yes or no so i can just eliminate that case now you see again there are two case remains uh, here initial state is final here non-initial state is final let me say i can eliminate these 16 cases also now it's very interesting you please try to concentrate why because here initial state is final state now no matter what transaction i take one string is always going to be accepted which is what the null string or empty string or epsilon if epsilon is going to be accepted then you understand the language is not empty if i say the language is empty it means that nothing at all a empty set phi but null is a string of length zero so even if you accept a null string it means the language is what non-empty and here because initial state is what uh, final then null is always being accepted so i cannot take any one of those 16 cases huh now let's go to the fourth case again now that is a favorable case why here you see q0 is a non uh, is an initial state but is non-final but q1 is what final now what we want we want that nothing should be accepted if that is a case we should try something so that no matter what happens you should never go to q1 because if you go to q1 the q1 will accept that logic so let me do what let me have a loop on q0 now you see if i have a loop on q0 now no matter what comes i never go to what q1 and q1 again becomes what unreachable if a state is unreachable again like in the previous video i have discussed if a state is unreachable then irrespective of the fact that it is final or non-final its presence and absence do not change the language accepting capability of the machine because uh, unreachable is for sure a non-productive state yes or no yes but still can i generate some combinations like, like again you see 
if q not and q1 i have and i have two symbols in b now q not i don't have any options you see either on a or b you must come back on what q not because if you go to q1 then the string is going to be accepted and that should not be the case because right now we are dealing with what empty cases now you see but still do q1 have options certainly they have two two combinations both so again you understand either i can loop like this or i can go back to q not both over a and b either a loop on b or a loop on a you see again four different cases are possible so you see four case here and and then uh, how many case 16 case here so again 4 plus i'm sorry 4 plus 16 20 dfas are there which will accept what empty language you understand this logic again uh, the very first case is also a valid DFA. As you see, it is not required that this, every state in the machines must be reachable. We'll concentrate on that point when we do minimization because till now we are more or less concentrated only on what? Designing of DFA. So these four combinations are possible. So now you understood. Total we have 64 combinations out of which 20 accepts universal, 20 accepts empty. So how many remains? Only 24. So you see, 24 DFAs will be there which will accept neither the universal nor the empty so then they'll, they'll accept some important logic okay so these are the uh, you know last two or three videos we have tried a different framework instead of designing we are concentrated first that how many combinations we can generate and then how what kind of a language these combinations accepts okay thank you